Hey there, it's Brittany, welcome back. Um, I wanna make a leather necklace today, um, something a little bit different than we've been making. Um, and I also wanted to feature these BB Craft beads that I showed you in my unboxing last week. So um, I will leave a link to these beads on their website. But um, yeah, I really wanted to showcase them because I've been looking for these beads for a while. And they're always expensive, and I was super excited when I saw you can get 50 on their website for, I think, like $16. It was insane. So anyway, I've already divided, I've picked out pairs and divided them into two dishes just so I know I can keep my pairs apart. Um, and I picked out some coordinating gemstone beads. I can't remember. Yeah, these are cracked agate beads. Um, let me find a little dish to pour them in. So they're like a tealy green color that plays off the turquoise in the clay beads. Um, and then I just have this uh, brown leather from Hobby Lobby. Um, oh goodness, okay, here it is. You get 25 yards for $6.99 and I used a 40% 40, 40 off coupon. Um, I think I got that before the pandemic started. So, I, and I, I ordered it, oh no, I bought it right after the pandemic started and I ordered it online. So I don't know where it's located in the store, but I would assume in their leather aisle. Um, I cut three pieces, four feet apart. Now I saw a really cute necklace on um, Pinterest and I think a couple of my friends have made similar necklaces to what we're gonna make right now. I am not a person who copies, so I, or at least try not to copy, but um, I like inspiration. So I'm not gonna go ahead and make a necklace that's exactly the same like that one. I think had pearls on it and it did different colors and things like that. It was beautiful. It was nice to take inspiration from. Um, I'm gonna do it a little differently. Uh, and I don't know if we're gonna make a lariat or if we're just gonna make a uh, multi-strand necklace. I think that's something I should probably decide <laughs> before we start. So I think the one I saw, the few I saw actually were um, lariat style. But now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want this to be um, just a multi-strand long leather necklace. And I'm trying to think about how I want to do that. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it a multi-strand leather, uh, leather necklace instead of a lariat. Next time we'll do the lariat because I really want one, but um, I think this would be really cute with, um, the way I'm thinking. So I'm going to grab the bead that I want to be the focal. So I have two. All right, so I'm gonna grab this one and I'm going to string it onto my leather and I'm going to pull it to the middle of my leather. So I'm just gonna grab both ends, pull it taut and then find where my middle is, okay? So there we go. Um, I'm gonna tie a knot on one hand, just a regular knot, nothing special. You can do a barrel knot here, but I don't need to. I'm trying to keep my bead in the same spot because the knot's moving. Let's try that again. I just wanna make sure that's Yep, still the middle of the necklace, okay. All right, so I'm going to tie a knot on both sides of this bead. And you can use whatever type of knot you want. I'm, for sake of uh, time, I'm just gonna do these regular knots. Barrel knots will be really cool on here. Okay, and I'm going to set that one off to the side. Um, I'm going to put on a, a an agate bead. And then I'm going to m put my match up my strands. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm going to move these out of the way because they're intrusive. Okay, and then I'm going to find where my bead would be on the middle strand and um, I'm going to slide my agate down and I don't want these to be right in front of each other like I don't want this at, I don't want them to be right on top of each other so I'm going to slide my agate down maybe an inch or so okay so they'll rest kind of like that and I'm going to just mark where that is put this to the side and I'm going to knot this is not going to be a scientific necklace by the way Okay, and I'm going to put a knot on the other side. And it'll be a little bit easier once we get these first beads finished. I'm hoping. <laughs> we never know. Okay, so now if I line both necklaces up from the back, like that, and smooth them out, once they're next to each other, this is what they look like, okay? So I'm going to grab one more agate and my other, my last, my third piece of leather and match everything up. And then I'm going to decide where I want my third agate to go or my second agate to go, excuse me. I'm getting ahead of myself in counting. So I think I want it to go right about here. So I'll drop those two and then grab another agate. Okay, so now we have our three pieces. I'm going to line them up. Here are the first two. And the third. And, oh. See, I didn't really do that right. So this one's a little bit closer, if you can see, to the um, focal than I'd like it. It's okay because these knots aren't too tight, so I can move them down just a little bit. So I'm gonna move these. I'll just undo that knot really quickly. Okay, keep move the, I don't even need to take it all the way down. I'm just gonna move it that much Oops, probably a little bit too much there. Okay, and then we'll kind of slide this knot down a little bit more. And we'll see how that matches with our other two strands. And this is not precise. You, do, you just do it with your eyesight. You can decide where, you, if you want them all three of them to be right next to each other, that's totally fine too. Okay. And now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I had just chosen the other end of the leather, I wouldn't probably have had to move the, the knots. So that's kind of important, deciding which way they're pointing. Okay. So we move this one down a little bit. Trying to decide if we want this one to move a little bit more too. You know what, I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna knot right here, all three pieces. It's just about mm, anywhere from a uh, half inch to an inch away from that first bead okay and then I'm going to not make sure these are kind of taut there and then not on the other side as well Okay, 
Now, if you didn't want to just do a regular three strand necklace like I'm going to do, you could just knot down the whole thing and just make it a lariat and call it a day. But I'm going to be closing this with something. I don't know what yet, but we might just do a knot in the back. I don't know. So now we're going to con um, continue going all the way through the rest of the necklace. So, and then I don't really care how spaced out they're going to be. Um, you, like I said, they, this one, um, you could add more beads here. I'm just doing three. I, I'm just going to go with the flow um, the rest of the way up the necklace. So, um, and I'm just going to make sure on the, this side I choose out of this bin of beads. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And then on the other side I'll choose out of that bin of beads. So, we'll go ahead and just pile some beads on. And I'm not going to knot like I did here to keep the beads stationary. And like I said, you don't need to do that in the middle either. I'm going to put one of these on. I'll see if yeah, the hole's big enough. Okay. So I'm just going to tie a knot here. Oops. I love projects that don't require a lot of tools. I mean, all I need is scissors or a nipper so far in this necklace. Next, I'm going to do just, I'm going to do two agates. And I'm in the middle going to do a Tibetan bead. And you can do as many of these strands as you want, like 10 strands, go for it. I just don't have a lot of leather on hand right now. I need to do an order. But I just bought a bunch of furniture today, so I'm not making any orders anytime soon. All right, so this leather's not slipping into the bead holes very easily in the best way to fix that is just make a trim trim it as, to an angle and that way it goes through the beads okay so we'll grab our ends and slide those beads down okay, and I'll just make sure that that gold ones in the middle and I'm just going to tie a knot And you can measure this or you can eyeball it like I'm doing. Eyeballing is a lot easier. <laughs> um, and if you didn't want to have the three in the middle, like I'm actually thinking I want to redo this. I actually think I'm going to, uh, from this end, redo this part. Um, you can put a gemstone in the middle. You could put a dangle, whatever you want. So I'm just going to keep going until I run out of either room or beads.
and it's totally okay to change your um, direction mid project I do it all the time even if I'm not um, filming something sometimes I'm just like oh didn't like this let's go in this direction that's the cool thing about art right there is no how-to manual well I guess I'm doing a how-to video but there's no um, saying that one way is better than another okay oh, I'm loving this it's so cute all right so do two gosh these Tibetan beads are so cool I just have always loved them and now I, I, I did I'm only using about 15 on this necklace oops sorry I'm doing it wrong um, so I still have a ton left Um, and I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember where I got these agate beads. They might have been from Bargain Bead Box. Oh, goodness. I keep putting two on one strand. If I was paying attention, instead of talking, I might have noticed that sooner. I was going to be able to do a blitz video this weekend but I just didn't couldn't get it couldn't get one done couldn't didn't have the inspiration but when I looked at these beads again I was like oh really wanted to try that leather um, technique so I'm super excited about this okay so I have one bead left on this side um, so I was doing one, so two, one, two, one, two, in vice versa. So there were two agates and one um, Tibetan bead, one agate, two Tibetan beads. So I'm going to go into my stash and get one more for each side of the bracelet. Or I'm sorry, excuse me, the necklace. But you could certainly make a, this could be a wrap bracelet too. I'm going to grab this guy. And we'll do one more and then we'll start on the other side. I'm going to take out those other beads and we'll go from there. And the cool thing is if doing it this way instead of this way, you can start at one end of the necklace and then just go, go towards the other end. This way I was trying to do too much and it didn't work out. Okay, so... So I'm going to go ahead and unknot these, ch 
change this side to look more like these knots and um, finish up the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so I was able, sorry, I'm just trying to move something out of the way. Um, I was able to get everything um, knotted, and I just I just love how this looks. I don't know if you can tell how pretty this is in real life, but oh my goodness, it's just so gorgeous. And it looks very complicated, but this is one of the more easy um, necklaces I've made in a long time. So then when I was looking, um, at this side, I have a ton left over. I could put more beads. You could put a bunch of spacer beads and keep tying. You could do whatever you want. You can leave this loose. You can tie um, a charm around this end and keep it, um, make it into a lariat. But then this side, I was just like, oh, what will, what, will, what will it look like if I start to braid it? So I did a very easy, quick braid, and I really liked how that looked, and I just tied it off down here. Um, so I'm going to do the same Thing on this end and sorry if my hands get in the way because it really is just like a really messy quick braid I'm not good at braiding hair at all or anything like that but I can braid very simply um, one millimeter leather so this necklace has definitely inspired me to go on a spending freeze or a spent not spending freeze spending spree for leather as soon as I possibly can because I have so many new ideas just stemming from this technique um, and I, like I said I've seen this technique everywhere I think I saw Jesse James Beads do something like kind of like this I saw um, something on Pinterest and actually one of my um, bead friends Julie who I call the queen of leather <laughs> um, at least leather knotting she's done a couple of necklaces that are similar um, although I think hers might have been but anyway, Julie, if you're watching, hi, happy birthday. Um, but I'm gonna just keep quickly going. And if one end, uh, one side by chance ends up being shorter than the other, even though you know we kind of space everything out, that's totally fine. We just take one knot out, cut, and then re knot. So I'm just gonna keep going until. I can. <laughs> And thank you to all of you who have been giving me well wishes on my move and you know the house and everything. It really means a lot. Oh, we have one week from today till we clo till I close, I should say, and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble because I made it too short on this side. Tying my knot. I don't want my braid to come undone. There we go. Alright, so I have a feeling these, well, I know for sure these are two different sizes here, so let's see if we can figure it out and then go from there. All right, so what I'll do, okay, so what I'll do is I want to make sure these are even. here on this side. So I'm going to, I'm not going to undo that knot. I'm going to make a new one and then undo the other one so the braid doesn't come out. I don't want it to be like two huge knots. Okay. Okay. 
that's as close as it will get. Um, I need to check in my supplies because if I've already packed them, then um, I can't show you. But um, ribbon cord ends would be great, like clamps for this end of the necklace. So let me untie this knot. There we go. There we go. So, um, ribbon cord ends would be great. Just trim these to, you know, equal parts, clamp the ribbon onto the, um, or the cord end onto the leather, squirt some glue in there, and then you can add a regular clasp. Or if you want this to just be adjustable, you can leave it like this. Just leave it like this and then tie it in the back. Um, the other cool thing about this is it would make an amazing wrap bracelet. That would be super cute. Um, I'm gonna check to see if I have any cord ends, depending on, I think I might have some silver ones laying around, so I'll be right back. Well, I just realized my microphone was laying beside me that last segment instead of on me, so I'm sorry if the um, sound quality was poor. Um, this was all I was able to find right now in my stash, um, but they should work. And if not, then we'll move on to something else. But, um, or you could just tie, if you had a long enough end, tie this around a jump ring um, and then you, you'd be good to go. So I'm going to <coughs> cut this, sorry, at equal lengths. Okay, so they're all the same across. Um, these, I, I, I don't know where they came from. I don't remember where I purchased these. These might've come in a stash box or something. So I'm gonna grab my glue. You can use GS Hypo Cement, you can use, I would probably actually prefer to use E6000, E6000 for this, but I don't think I have any around me, and that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some GS Hypo Cement in here and it'll probably squeeze out but that's totally fine we can clean that up later and I'm gonna put these three in there and I'm trying to think does it go like I think it goes like that and then we squish the sides so I'm gonna take my pliers and clamp that down yeah that's <laughs> that's not going anywhere um, and then I'm gonna take my other end and clamp that as tight as possible and nobody's gonna see this because it's in the back if you were selling this obviously you'd want it to match the the metal on the necklace but I'm not gonna sell this because I think it's cool um, and then I'm just gonna do the other side. And then that way, you can grab a jump ring and a clasp and close it up. Um, we'll trim this side to match. Guys, I'm gonna be so unhappy when I unpack everything because I'm just, I'm not paying attention and organizing while I pack. I'm just like, oh, I don't need this right now. It's going in a box. <laughs> At least I'm labeling the boxes, but good Lord, future Brittany's gonna be really upset. But that's that's a problem for future Brittany, not current Brittany. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and smush that down. And grab our pliers. I'm just going to start it with my fingertips because it's a little easier that way. Smush as hard as you can. All right. 
So that was a different way to close off a, a um, leather necklace than I've used in probably a video before. I know I've done it before like that, but I don't know if I've put it in a video. But isn't this so pretty? I just love these. I mean, it's so, these beads from BB Craft are really making this necklace. I just love it and it's so bohemian. And um, so this could be a stacker. This could be um, a, your only necklace that you wear. Like I said, you can wrap it depending on what end, ending you use. I cannot wear, wait to wear this necklace. And actually it's matching the teal, teal dress that I have on at the moment. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me see. I don't think I have, where are my classes? I do have some classes around me. And I'm just going to go with silver because I already I put the silver endings on, but normally I would go with brass. But I don't want it to look too funky in the back. Um, let's see. We'll go with these. And I just need to find a jump ring. Oh, how wonderful. Okay, there we go. Cute little necklace that none, nobody else you know will have because you can coordinate, you can make this any way you want. You like pink? Do pink. <laughs> Um, green, yellow, any colors, anyway. And I'm, this is definitely going to make it into my um, future videos as different items. But this is the basic technique. Um, we might see a, a lariat in the future, a wrap bracelet, a really long necklace, a really short necklace, something like that. Um, or maybe one where we do a pendant instead of the middle beads. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check out um, BB Craft below for these beads. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for my cutie baby, Goldie. She will be gracing you with her presence in just a moment. <laughs> Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.